Hey, I'm just gonna do an update. I haven't done a walk around video in a couple of months on the trailer. Just wanna show some updates, things I've changed over the last few months. Done some trips, did a 10 day trip. And uh, yeah, so I made some, uh, mostly just upgrades, not really changes. A uh, quick upgrade would be in the battery, I'm just starting at the front. Uh, I went to a five amp charger rather than the two amp, so just a little bit bigger. That's just the plug in for short power to charge the battery. Uh, at home or at a campsite. This uh, is to turn my solar on. It's all hardwired to the Rover 20 amp. So there you go. And when we don't need it, I just hit the switch rather than using little like tongs like I had before that would clip onto the positive negatives. So that would be the front end. Oh, and then I've got an 80 watt uh, AMG now battery or AGM. Uh, everything else here is the same axes and all that. I haven't changed. The shelf is all still there. That's really about it. And then the plug. Uh, everything on the kitchen side is the same. Just the, the burner. You can see that all on my first video. Same with the awning and the tent. It's the same Rhino Rack Batwing 270. Uh, storage is all the same. I haven't changed anything in here. Side of the trailer, I did a drop down table. This is actually for a Jeep JL. And it's just super simple. So a bit more uh, prep area, just usable work surface. It's great for when we were doing dishes with the sink, we can put our drying rack on here now. And then it fits our plastic mugs that we actually have as well. So super easy. Uh, stainless hardware and it's just powder coated black and then just latches down uh, 30 by nine and a half 15 uh, ko twos I like a good reliable tire even though it's just a trailer it's just nice to have a better tire just peace of mind and then obviously full-size spare underneath as well so again that's a 30 inch by nine and a half r15 uh, pantry's all the same haven't changed anything it's all still there uh, what I did change though was back here was I cut the bottom drawer here and made it for storage. So our spatulas, our gas regulator, a couple lighters, some matches, whatever else. Uh, I haven't really played around with that too, too much. And it's just on normal sliders. I didn't do locking, just a soft close. A nice thing about soft close is it actually does kind of keep it cinched. Uh, I believe that's really about it. It's going to be a pretty quick one here. Uh, I believe, yeah, traction boards are new. These are Rhino Rack traction board mounts, and they actually fit um, the cheap kind of Chinese junky ones. These are just those $100 ones off of Amazon. I haven't used them yet for anything other than leveling the trailer, which, as you can see, <laughs> on a hot day, it actually was starting to push... That's all right. They're a hundred bucks. That's really about it. Just some magnets from places we go. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. Uh, yeah, the one thing you can't see is water pump. I upgraded to a sea flow. I think it's called. Uh, it's the same rate. It's one point two or one point three gallons a minute, but it is like five times quieter. Way quieter than the. Just the cheap one that was on there before. Uh, that's really about it. Oh, I kind of put some foam on the water lines just to help. I know it doesn't help a lot, but... And, uh, yeah, that's an update video of the trailer. Um, it's been great so far. I'm getting a new rack because the rack, uh, the weld started cracking. So I'm just waiting for a new rack, and then that's when I'll install the shower. I've got an OVS, so Overland Vehicle Systems, the same brand as the rooftop tent. And the new rack is square, so there's no taper here. It's going to be square all the way up, and then the shower is already built, and it's on a, a, a slider, kind of like the slide-out kitchen. So it's another 500 pound kitchen slide like that one there. And it's gonna go right here. 
just bolts on. I've already got a, a plate already built. It's all ready to go. I just need to bolt it on. And basically it's going to slide out from about, he about here and it'll slide out 32 inches and you can have a shower basically right here. Um, it'll just deploy. It's they're basically like a four by four shower, uh, four feet by four feet. I mean, and it'll be kind of around here is where you'll stand. And uh, we'll just have the hot water shower, which is portable with the water. And we'll be able to have a shower. So that'll be the next uh, video as well, once that's all completed. And uh, oh yeah, the truck's getting an alley cab canopy here in a couple of days. So I took the tonneau off and uh, prepped it with the with the gear rails there. So that's going on in a couple of days. Pretty excited about that. Thought about going with the canopy, the uh, camper. But man, is it just ever nice just to hook up to a trailer with all the storage, with all of this, and uh, all the box still is usable. So a big thing for us was firewood. We have a porta potty, uh, all the kids stuff as well, uh, all their chairs. Just to have that space is really, really nice. So being able to use the box to its full capacity was kind of a big thing for me. I think they're really awesome now, you cabs, but uh, I don't know, there's something about being able to just hook up to a trailer. And like I say, this is parked and it's for the most part ready to go. And it's just kind of nice to have it like that. And uh, that's really about it. I think I'll end, end on that. And uh, the next video will be uh, with probably the new rack and the shower. And I'll go over that uh, when it's ready. Thanks again.